Hi everyone, the topic for today's video is simplification and I'm going to challenge myself by drawing 9 buildings in 9 minutes. So these are some buildings and scenes from Barcelona. Seems like some of the buildings are quite challenging. I'm going to use this timer here to time myself. Alright, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to talk while I sketch this very quickly. So the trick to simplification is to draw the big elements first, followed by the details later on. And there is not much to think about because you have to draw like really fast. Let me draw some windows to suggest that this is a building. Okay, some roofs here. This is actually quite challenging. One way to draw faster is to draw small because if you have a large piece of paper, if you are drawing on a large piece of paper, you're going to draw more details and that's going to take more time. Okay, so this is what I can draw with only one minute. Let me just add some grays for the shadows. I wasn't able to draw the details such as the windows because um, there wasn't any time. Let me use the grays, darker gray for the rooftops. If you use a water brush like this with colors, in this case it's just gray wash, you can actually add tones very quickly. And this will really help, um, help you sketch very quickly. So just by adding tones like this, you can see the form of these buildings, so they start to come alive. And I can use this black brush to draw windows so rather than using pen and ink to draw the squares I can use this to just dab onto the paper to create the illusion of windows this is obviously very convenient and can help you to work faster this brush pen is well this is the Pentel color brush pen that I have refilled with ink Next, we have Sagrada Familia, if I remember the name of this building. Okay, I'm running out of time already. When it comes to simplification, the goal is to keep the subject recognizable while you leave out the details while drawing. So for lines that contribute to the form of the building, to the recognizable shape of the buildings, those lines are important and have to be drawn. But for little details within the big shapes, um, those details you can actually leave them out. This particular sketch is extremely challenging because this building is actually all about the details on it. So. Um, by leaving out the details, um, it's I guess it's still recognizable because of the shape, but um, it doesn't bring across the essence of what this building is about, if you know what I mean. There are like countless windows here on these uh, four towers. I've actually been to Sagrada Familia during the Urban Sketches Symposium that happened a few years ago in Barcelona and it was a fantastic trip. It's really an experience going into this building. This building it feels like a castle. Next we have this. Okay, this is extremely challenging because this time I'm going to draw like huge Okay, probably shouldn't draw the windows first because the windows are the details. Um, if I draw this, I may not have time to draw the top, so let's draw the top first. 
Wow, this is very challenging. Okay, it seems to be a statue here. Let's continue with the windows here. Okay, so all these lines that contribute to the form, um, you have to draw them to make this building recognizable. All right, uh, let me just add a few more details to this sketch to finish this up. When you draw on a larger piece of paper and you don't have a lot of details, the sketch can look incomplete, which I guess is how it looks right now. So if you add a bit more details, the sketch can actually look better. Okay, we have windows here, pillars here, and let me use the brush again, this time to add some colors, to add some, sorry, values. Okay, we have that at the top, the statue here. I forgot to press the record button for this, so let me just redraw this. So sometimes when you are drawing really fast, it can uh, be quite stressful, especially when you're doing this sort of challenge. So you may make mistakes, but it's okay. Okay. So this is very challenging. How do you add all the details in this scene without adding the details? Um, if you know what I mean. So on the side here, we have the trees. We have some buildings here as well. This is a one point perspective scene. Wow, there are, uh, so there are a lot of details in the background. And for the background, I'm just going to use like very thin lines. Wow, I need to concentrate. Windows, we need some windows. Oops. I wasn't able to draw a lot here because there are just too many things to draw. Now this is a one point perspective scene, which means um, there is some vanishing point somewhere here. So the diagonal lines, they will go to the vanishing point. Diagonal lines like the top and bottom of the windows, they must point to the vanishing point. Okay, so now I'm just using the black brush pen to add some details. Okay. This is actually quite a fun scene to sketch because it's very challenging. And let's switch to uh, this gray brush. So I can use this brush to separate some of the buildings here and maybe a lighter gray to Add a bit more details. Maybe some dots here to. Well, this is a brick wall, so maybe some dots here for the texture. Okay, that was building number four. So now let's draw. Sorry, that was scene number four street seam number four let's draw this is the same uh, building from earlier but this time we are drawing from a higher uh, elevation from a higher ground okay we have some buildings oops the cityscape in the background okay this is very challenging. Okay, we need to draw the big shapes. Remember the big shapes first. Okay, running out of time. OK, 
Okay. I probably should have zoomed in a bit more so that you guys can see me draw. Uh, sorry about that. Let me just touch up this sketch with some values, some windows here and there. So this time I did not draw the windows because I can paint the windows using this brush pen. The cityscape in the background, um, that is challenging. So let me just paint the shapes using this brush pen okay so now it looks like these are actually mountains in the background because of the lack of details uh, buildings say they have sharp edges straight lines so this looks like some forest or mountain in the background so maybe i can just draw a little uh, straight lines here and there just to add some details okay this next scene is very challenging because the perspective is very challenging and there are again a lot of details and in this case i do have to draw the details like the railing here for the buildings for the side of the wall okay this is tough if I don't draw the real links the details um, it's gonna be the scene is not going to be very recognizable and right here at the top this needs to be smaller because this is further away and we have the top of the building there this will come down at a steep at a very steep angle because of perspective I'm running out of time some plants here okay once again let's add some values to this sketch this is diluted Lexington gray ink so when you dilute Lexington gray uh, this is the very light value you can get And this is Lexington Gray. This is great for painting uh, mid values or darker values or shadows. For the black, I'm going to use it to paint the plants here. Wow. Lots of plants here as well. The vanishing point is actually right down there so all these lines that you see they are actually supposed to be very steep i may actually want to add some more details here so now that i am not timing myself i can actually draw uh, slower with greater care yep my lines definitely look much better now more confident and straighter this is the window another window here let's add some little details This is the bottom. This was actually my first try that I forgot to record again. So this is building or scene number six. Next we have this vertical scene that I'm going to draw in this very small area here. Okay, we can have this balcony. This is a one point perspective scene. One person standing here, another here. A door here. Okay, windows. Another balcony here. 
There's another one here. Okay, this is... When drawing smaller, I don't have to draw that much detail, so... This is great. It's actually very difficult to see uh, the details in this very dark photo. So most of the side walls here are in shadow, like really dark shadows. And just squeeze some of the ink out. The bottom of the balcony, black. The doors black. This person standing here. Um, now it's not recognizable as a person, so. Oh well. Done. Building number eight is insane. Wow. This is very very difficult um, I'm not sure what I'm even drawing okay this building has a lot of form like a lot of protruding parts so all the protruding parts, all the protruding parts have lines that contribute to the form, so I actually do have to draw all those lines. Okay, this bottom here. Once again, let's use the gray marker to paint the details. Now, there are a lot of those pattern like the dot patterns so let me see if i can add those dot patterns those dot patterns are actually uh, square tiles possibly square tiles so um, my pattern is not like repeatable like those square tiles Okay, I think it's not too bad here. For this last sketch, I'm going to draw like small. Okay. We have some vehicles on the ground. Okay, the vehicles, challenging, very challenging because there are actually quite a lot. And I have to make sure that the size of the vehicles, they uh, relate to each other because vehicles in the background are supposed to be smaller. Oops, this one is, this vehicle is not right. I probably am not able, um, it's not going to be able to draw the windows for this sketch. Okay, um, yep. Okay, let's paint this with the gray. I'm gonna leave some white for some of the white windows that are reflecting the light. Okay, the top of the vehicle, I'm going to leave it white. For the back of the vehicle, I also have some white. Oops, um, this should be a silver car, but um, let's make do with that. And now let's have black. The bottom of the vehicle, Oh, that's going to be almost black. Windows here. Let me just paint this whole thing as one shape. OK, 
Okay, we have some tiny windows in the background, like really small. Okay, very challenging. The thing with sketching so far, Steve, if you is if you are sketching on location, uh, you probably won't be able to remember much of the scene. It's almost like taking a photograph. I prefer to take my time to sketch when on location so that I can really experience uh, the experience of being there, drawing on location, experience the sight and the sound. That's what's so fun about urban sketching because of the experience. It's not so much of the, I mean, the drawing is nice, but uh, part of urban sketching is really about the experience of being there on location. So these are the nine buildings or scenes drawn in nine minutes. If you have a very limited amount of time to draw, there is only so much details you can add. Now, if you want to draw more scenes, you can draw small. If you draw small, you can actually draw more because when you draw small, you don't have to add so much details. I mean, if you draw small, you cannot add so much details because there is no space on the paper for you to add details. The fountain pen that I used here, this is the cellular fountain pen with zoom nib. I'm using this fountain pen because the lines it produces uh, is very thick. It's very easy for the camera to capture so that you guys can see the lines more clearly. Another trick with simplification is you don't actually have to draw the details. You can just suggest the details and the person looking at your sketch will be able to fill in the blanks. For example, here, these little black dots here are just suggestions of windows and the white area here, suggestions of reflection of light. This is a fun and challenging exercise you can do on your own. If you find it too stressful to draw under one minute, you can just um, change it to drawing under three minutes. The goal here really is to make whatever you are drawing as recognizable as possible without using or drawing too many lines. If you are someone who draws with very stiff lines, this exercise can help you loosen up. And this is also a very good exercise for warm up before you draw something with more details. If you guys want more drawing tutorials, you can check out my YouTube playlist and do consider supporting me on Patreon as well, where you get access to even more in-depth detailed tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.